Okay, Tuesday morning in the kingdom, and I'm standing out here in the sunshine, but we're not living in fear of the sun anymore because the great solar eclipse is over. I think it was all hype and everything like that by the media. So it's like, like the honeymoon. They make it sound like it's going to be a great a festival occasion, and you'll have memories. Yes, it was lame as my honeymoon. All right. This morning we woke up to minus four, which is a lie because it's warm. That sun is warm. I can feel it on my face. Oh, plus I'm dressed too warm for being out here. But it feels like minus seven, which is lies. And then on the yo-yo scale, plus 25 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 19. Yo, those are such nice temperatures. All right, I didn't have to untangle the flags today because they were acting like flags. You know, they weren't all tangled up and self-destructing like me and my wasted youth. All right, let's scroll this way. The snow is melting. Pretty soon it's going to be bare ground, and then we can put those plane wings away and then park Aggie the cat back in the lineup so all the cats are together in one location. Yes, and there's the sun. It's over there. Yes, the days are getting longer. That means I have to work longer because the boss is an asshole. Unreal. All right, so everything's looking good. We had a good, successful day yesterday welding and overcoming the gods of gravity. But I got talent. Well, when I'm not sober. All right, there we go. No wood stove today because it's pointless wasting wood. We're going to save the wood for the great snowstorms that we have right till May long weekend. And then it'll be cold, chilly, lots of snow. And that's a standard thing for up here. We always get snow. All right, we just about made the full rotation. Oh, that sun is bright. I can't see anything. I think I'll start welding right away because the paint's still not dry on the trucks in the shop. Oh, I got the burps. That was that peanut butter. I don't know what I was thinking, splashing it on. Two-year-old paint. It's probably had a chemical reaction sitting in the can that long. So it's probably lost its hardness or dry drying ability. Yes, I just wanged it on there. Also, too, how many people still use the chalk? I found out that if I sharpen the chalk and then I use it, with the plasma cutter. Yes, make a thin little line in the plasma cutter. Yes, that Pro Point 30A Plus from Princess Auto. And then use Dr. Evil's laser, you know, to cut it. My cutting is improved greatly from using that uh, paint marker with a quarter inch dabbed end on it. Yes, so I was using this yesterday. I don't think people use chalk anymore. It's too confusing. Plus it breaks all the time unless you have that holder. Everybody has to be, you know, modern paint markers, markers, everything like that. But I got the chalk. In fact, I bought a box of this stuff 20 years, no, 30 years ago. Yes, and I'm still using it. Excellent. So I'm improving myself every day by going old school. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, just about lunchtime in the kingdom, and I spent the morning fixing everything. I had to fix the me phone. It had lint. Yes, lint from my pocket stuck in the little... Uh, port where you plug in the Lily Tomlin mic, so I think we have it corrected. I don't know. We'll find out when I listen to this video. All right. So after I fixed the me phone, we gassed up the welder because we're going to have a good production day. In theory, I hope. And yesterday when we were welding, ooh, shadows. Okay. The stinger was getting hot, so that's why. So I took it apart, cleaned it. Uh, inserted the new end, cut the end off, made it good again. So we're good to go. So we're going to be burning some 330 second rod. That's the small ones. And we're going to be burning the 1 8. So over here, walk and talk. Okay, we should be good to go. This is the uh, welds we had to grind out. So then I'll do a nice up hand with the 330 second to get a good seal. All right, so we have to do all the welds on the runners today. And then as we walk by over here, I'm seeing things that I missed. That's why we didn't save this to last, because you'll miss it. Now when you flip it over, you'll go, ah, shit, I should have welded that. Oop, did I swear? I shouldn't have said that. All right. So, okay. Maybe I'll have to wash my mouth out with vodka. Ooh, just like mother in this bar of soap. So uh, double checking and everything. I got a couple welds I got to do on this, but that's the whole idea. Do this first. And then as you work over there, you pick up what you missed. All right, let's get to work here. The boss is kind of grouchy.
Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and it's freaking warm out here. All right, let's see if we can do the walk and talk. Oh, walk and climb video. All right. So I'm in here. Oh. All right. That's how I'm welding. I'm using the 1 8 rod right there. And I'm using the degrees and angles and philosophies. So it's up hand going this way. And then it's up hand going this way. The only problem is I can't see in here, right? I can only lean over so far plus the welding helmet and the auto shield so I have to be very careful so the last two inches of this here an inch and a half is I'm welding blind so I don't even know what it looks like so after lunch I can do the up hands here okay zing 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 and then that will put heat to it and then I can burn 330 second oh hand and eye coordination 330 second on this side but that's the thing is I want to kind of preheat it so this is working out good having lots of overlap here where the join is because joins is where it cracks so that's why you go a little bit past and go through we'll do an up hand here to get this smooth yes when this uh, salvage loop is upright these are down these are flat oh hand and eye okay there we go all right but i'm more comfortable doing an up hand than i am doing flat because i want to control it same as this bead here i did a big fat one on the bottom here and then I just did a skinny one on top because I can control it doing an up hand versus welding flat. All right, let's go have some lunch with some vodka and then my welds will improve. Okay, late coffee in the kingdom. We have to work late so I can make sure that this weld uh, salvage loop was finished from when the staff arrives after her real job and then we can flip it over. That way we don't have to use the me phone on a tripod so we have some action shots. Okay, so over here, these pieces didn't line up. So what we did was the up hand weld and we could bring it down. So over here, there was a big uh, piece sticking out. So instead of grinding it down to make it smooth, we just went a little farther and brought it over. So that's the joys of up hand welding. You can make it smooth. You don't have to do it. If this, this loop was upside down and we did layers of welding, you know, flat or whatever, that would take a lot. Whereas up hand, you can get it to flow. Like this is good enough for the dirt to slide over and stuff like that and then same as over here we did the same thing nothing really lined up oh that sun is bright nothing really lined up but we got lots of material on there and the ground will naturally wear it down we don't grind but everything is welded up in here okay can you see that last nestman up there and down here so we can flip it over and we'll be ready for when the staff arrives this turned out very well using lots of rods but we want it done right to last another 30 years 40 years or maybe the next generation of the look of kingdom uh king of obsoletes i guess we would call them when i'm dead and gone maybe the staff will have a bunch of little ones all right let's go have a quick coffee and then we can get back to work Tuesday morning in Whoville and it's almost 8 a.m. and I'm just getting ready to make breakfast. As you can see, there is a bit of a sunrise and some clouds out right now, but now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast, and get ready for work. Almost 8.30 and I'm just heading to work now. It is warming up a lot already, so I think today is going to be another warm day. I'm not sure what we'll be doing in the kingdom afterwards, but I guess I'll find out. Now it's time to head inside and get to work. 12 30 and i'm just finishing up lunch i had six students this morning which was pretty good we went outside for recess and stuff it is a beautiful day now it's time to head inside let the dogs back in and get to work just after 4 p.m and i made home from work it was a pretty good afternoon i had about 12 kids which is actually really good for a hot day like this now it's time to head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to 4 30 and i made into the kingdom no problem i went and checked the mail today and look what was there as you can see we have a new american flag to hang up this will be going on the big boat where we welded the flag post on last week before all the snow melted with the welding sleigh now we're going to hang it up over there on the big boat but thank you so much john s this is greatly appreciated now let's head out to the shop and see what my dad's up to over at the Rustoleum boat now, my dad's gonna put up the big American flag. Hopefully he doesn't drop it because it is pretty wet down here. Make sure it's the right way up. I hope so. It looks like it's the right way up. Then once we get the American flag up, we'll wait a couple days for the wind to blow around. We might have to come back and trim up the bottom of the boat here. That way it doesn't hook onto the flag and tear it apart like the ones on the tank have been.
Dave tried. Well, the last time we were over here, there was snow all in here, and we were wearing our skidoo suits. Now it's just mud. At least we know your welds hold. Yeah. Should have had your safety harness on. Yeah, because if you fell off, that would hurt. Yeah. Got the new American flag up, no problem. There's not much wind today, so we'll have to wait for a windy day so we can get some good pictures of it and stuff. Oh, there's a slight breeze. Maybe we'll be able to get the flag wide open for a good picture and a little video. But that's where I'll stay for now. We might have to come back and touch it up a little bit to make sure the flag doesn't get cut up. Almost 5 p.m. We're up at the shop now. My dad is going to get the green toy started. Then we are going to lift up the salvage sloop and turn it onto the other side because my dad has to weld down in here. So we're going to flip it over. The sun is extra bright. That's why I'm standing behind the caboose here. But I will get as much video as I can. p.m. we got it flipped over now my dad's gonna hook another chain up in hopes that he can get it straight and off this little lip here because as you can see the snow has melted all around the salvage sloop except for it was laying on its side here so you can kind of see where all the ice and snow is my dad doesn't want to work on top of that so he's going to try and move it over here onto the flat ground
got the salvage sloop leveled out here we were gonna turn it this way and put it just on the dirt here but my dad says it works better if it's the long way across that way he's not looking into the sun when he's welding now i'll head on over and give him a hand just after 5 p.m i'm officially done in the kingdom as you can hear in the background my dad is already welding again after we flipped over the salvage sloop so now it's time to head on back into whoville and do the weather 5.30, I made it back from the kingdom and put the quad away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do the weather. 6 p.m., and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 11 degrees Celsius, which is 51 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the fields like on the bottom. It is still pretty warm out there. A lot has melted today. I'm no longer wearing my skadoosu, just a couple of flutters when I go to the kingdom now. It's time to head inside, let the dogs back in, make supper, and end my day. Okay, 7 o'clock in the kingdom, and this worked out better with the sloop, or the salvage sloop pointing this way, because the sun is not, how would you say, in my face when I was welding. And this afternoon it was terrible when it was the other way, and flipped over. So, we're running low on welding rods, and it's sunny and nice, so we did all the hard stuff today. So we sat on the bar stool, yes, just like Norm, we did all the welds in here. And then we got down in here... And did the welds down there and worked our way up so it's actually going pretty good and we got everything done okay so all the parts or pieces have been welded all right so over here oh this is where i want to be okay over here this is what i like doing up hand this piece was high i don't know if you can see it no less nestman okay and there was a little bit of a gap or whatever so what i did was just pull it over so you're going up hand you can pull the ridge down to make it look smooth so this turned out very well that's why i like doing up hand versus uh, flat welds and over here we went as far as we can go all right so we got all the curve pieces the top is done here okay with this uh, runner ski thing bob okay so we just have to do the verticals but we have to weld on the other side first and that's the last of the welding rods. I ordered some more today. So and the boss will be pleased. We burned over 12 pounds of 1 8 rod in two days on this sloop. All right. So another thing here. The ice here was the snowpack base that we made. Dragging the drag through the yard, the cats and everything like that. So it broke apart. And underneath, it's still frozen. Yes. So this is actually working out good. So we took advantage of the nice weather because in theory it should be snowing yes it should be snowing that's the way it usually is all right let's go check on the flags okay that sun is bright but we got lots done today the boss will be pleased until i hand in my time card but he don't pay overtime because he's an asshole all right so there we go the gifted flag that the fellow said that we had one already gifted he said he told us to put it in storage i said no We'll make another flagpole. So here we are with the boat Rustoleum with the American gifted flag on the front. Yes, doesn't that look good? Now we just need some wind. But everything was organized and we did it the other day with the welding sleigh when there was snow on the ground. Plus we had made it and painted the pole so it was easy to weld. Oh, we're getting some flag movement. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you guys later.